Vashistha, Sanskrit, Vasistha IAST, Vasistha is one of the oldest and most revered Vedic rishis. He is one of the Saptarishas, seven great rishis of India. Vashistha is credited as the chief author of Mandala 7 of Rigveda. Vashistha and his family are mentioned in Rigvedic verse 10.167.4, other Rigvedic mandalas and in many Vedic texts. His ideas have been influential and he was called as the first sage of the Vedanta school of Hindu philosophy by Adi Shankara, Yoga Vashistha, Vashistha Samhita, as well as some versions of the Agni Purana and Vishnu Purana are attributed to him. He is the subject of many mythologies, such as him being in possession of the divine cow Kamadhenu and Nandini her child, who could grant anything to their owners. He is famous in Hindu mythologies for his legendary conflicts with sage Vishvamitra. Etymology <inaudible> 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 Vashistha is also spelled as Vasistha and is Sanskrit for most excellent, best or richest. According to Manir Williams, it is sometimes incorrectly spelt as Vashistha or Vashistha Vasistha. Topic: History In Rigvedic hymn 7.33.9, Vashistha is described as a scholar who moved across the Indus River to establish his school. He was married to Arundhati, and therefore he was also called Arundhati Nath, meaning the husband of Arundhati. Vashistha is believed to have lived on the banks of Ganga in modern-day Uttarakhand. Later, this region is believed in the Indian tradition to be the abode of sage Vyasa along with Pandavas, the five brothers of Mahabharata. He is typically described in ancient and medieval Hindu texts as a sage with long flowing hairs that are neatly tied into a bun that is coiled with a tuft to the right, a beard, a handlebar moustache, and a tilak on his forehead. In Buddhist Pali canonical texts such as Daya Nikaya, Tevija Sutta describes a discussion between the Buddha and Vedic scholars of his time. The Buddha names ten rishis, calls them early sages and makers of ancient verses that have been collected and chanted in his era, and among those ten rishi is Vasita the Pali spelling of Vashistha in Sanskrit. Ideas <inaudible> 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 Vashistha is the author of the seventh book of the Rigveda, one of its family books, and among the oldest layer of hymns in the Vedic scriptures of Hinduism. The hymns composed by Vashistha are dedicated to Agni, Indra and other gods, but according to R. N. Dandakar, in a book edited by Michael Witzel, these hymns are particularly significant for four Indravarunau hymns. These have an embedded message of transcending all thoughts of bigotry, suggesting a realistic approach of mutual coordination and harmony between two rival religious ideas by abandoning disputed ideas from each and finding the complementary spiritual core in both. These hymns declare two gods, Indra and Varuna, as equally great. In another hymn, particularly the Rigvedic verse 8.83.9, Vashistha teaches that the Vedic gods Indra and Varuna are complementary and equally important because one vanquishes the evil by the defeat of enemies in battles, while other sustains the good during peace through socio-ethical laws. The seventh mandala of the Rigveda by Vashistha is a metaphorical treatise. Vashistha reappears as a character in Hindu texts, through its history, that explore conciliation between conflicting or opposing ideologies. According to Ellison Findlay, a professor of religion, Vashistha hymns in the Rig Veda are among the most intriguing in many ways and influential. Vashistha emphasizes means to be as important as ends during one's life, encouraging truthfulness, devotion, optimism, family life, sharing one's prosperity with other members of society, among other cultural values. Texts <laughs> 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 
Vasishtha is a revered sage in the Hindu traditions, and like other revered sages, numerous treatises composed in ancient and medieval era are reverentially named after him. Some treatises named after him or attributed to him include Vashishtha Samhita is a medieval era yoga text. There is an agama as well with the same title. Vashishtha Dharmasutra, an ancient text, and one of the few Dharma-related treatises which has survived into the modern era. This Dharmasutra forms an independent text and other parts of the Kalpasutra, that is Shrauta and Griya sutras are missing. It contains 1,038 sutras. Yoga Vashishtha is a syncretic medieval era text that presents Vedanta and Yoga philosophies. It is written in the form of a dialogue between Vashishtha and Prince Rama of Ramayana fame, about the nature of life, human suffering, choices as the nature of life, free will, human creative power and spiritual liberation. Yoga Vashishtha teachings are structured as stories and fables, with a philosophical foundation similar to those found in Advaita Vedanta. The text is also notable for its discussion of yoga. According to Christopher Chappell, a professor of Indic studies specializing in yoga and Indian religions, the Yoga Vashishtha philosophy can be summarized as human effort can be used for self-betterment and that there is no such thing as an external fate imposed by the gods." Agni Purana is attributed to Vashishtha. Vishnu Purana is attributed to Vashishtha along with Rishi Pulatsya. He has also contributed to many Vedic hymns and is seen as the arranger of Vedas during Dwapara Yuga. Topic. Mythology According to Agarwal, one mythical legend states that Vashishtha wanted to commit suicide by falling into river Saraswati. But the river prevented this sacrilege by splitting into hundreds of shallow channels. This story, states Agarwal, may have very ancient roots, where the early man observed the braiding process of the satlage. And because such a legend could not have invented without the residents observing an ancient river in Rajasthan, drying up and its tributaries such as Sutlej reflowing to merge into Indus River. <inaudible> <inaudible> Rivalry with Vishwamitra Vashishtha is known for his feud with Vishwamitra. The king Vishwamitra coveted Vashistha's divine cow Nandini that could fulfill material desires. Vashistha destroyed Vishwamitra's army and sons. Vishwamitra acquired weapons from Lord Shiva and incinerated Vashistha's hermitage and sons, but Vashistha baffled all of Vishwamitra's weapons. Vishwamitra betook severe penances for thousands of years and became a Brahmashi. He even reconciled with Vashistha. Topic. Disciples Vashishtha is best known as the priest and preceptor of the Ikshvaku kings. He was also the preceptor of Manu, the progenitor of Kshatriyas and Ikshvaku's father. Other characters like Nausha, Rantideva and Bhishma were his disciples. When the Bharata king Samvata lost his kingdom to the Panchalas, he became the disciple of Vashistha. Under Vashistha's guidance, Samvata regained his kingdom and became the ruler of the earth. Topic: The Vashistha head. A copper casting of a human head styled in the manner described for Vashistha was discovered in 1958 in Delhi. This piece has been dated to around 3700 BCE, plus minus 800 years, in three Western universities ETH Zurich, Stanford and UC using among other methods carbon-14 dating tests, spectrographic analysis, X-ray dispersal analysis and metallography. This piece is called, Vashishtha Head, 
Because the features, hairstyle, tilak and other features of the casting resembles the description for Vashishtha in Hindu texts, the significance of Vashishtha head is unclear because it was not found at an archaeological site, but in open Delhi market where it was scheduled to be remelted. Further, the head had an inscription of Narayana, suggesting that the item was produced in a much later millennium. The item, states Edwin Bryant, likely was recast and produced from an ancient pre-2800 BCE copper item that left significant traces of matter with the observed C14 dating. Topic: <laughs> Vashishtha temples. There is an ashram dedicated to Vashishtha in Guwahati, India. This ashram is situated close to Assam Meghalaya border to the south of Guwahati city and is a major tourist attraction of Guwahati. Vashishtha's temple is situated in Vashisht village, Himachal Pradesh. Vashishtha Cave, a cave on the banks of Ganges at Shapuri, 18 km from Rishikesh is also locally believed to be his winter abode and houses a Shiva temple, also nearby is Arundhati Cave. Guru Vashishtha is also the primary deity at Aratupura temple known as Aratupura Sri Dharmasastha in Aratupura village in Trisur district of Kerala. The famous Aratupura Puram is a yearly celebration where Sri Rama comes from the Thripriya temple to pay obeisance to his guru at Aratupura temple. See also Agastya Aruni Atri Kashyapa equals equals notes